Hello, this is Betty Tracyak with a tutorial for a mitered border technique that is simple and it can be varied for several different looks on different types of projects. Here you can see the border that I created with this mitered corner. In this case, it has been adhered down to the background. On this card, I added some mini foam dots to give it some added dimension. So that is a bit more 3D. On this example, I slipped a piece of vellum that had been stamped underneath of the edges before those were adhered down. This can be, this is a three by six, so this could be either a card or it had, could be a decor piece. Another way that it can be used is by not adhering the flap down at all. So that creates a different look and it creates some interesting intersections where those corners come together. And on this final project, I added an extra score line on each side and when that is folded and adhered down, that creates a triangular border around the edge and that also creates kind of an interesting uh, pattern in the corners. To make this project, you will need double-sided scrapbook paper, a scoreboard, adhesive, and scissors. For a bit of background on this idea, I was inspired by a current quilt project that I'm working on where the backing of the quilt is used as the binding. This is a smaller version of that. And when you do that, the backing is folded in the corner and then the sides are folded over once and then down again and where those meet in the corner, that creates a nice miter. This forms a frame around the quilt, and this gave me an idea for adapting this for use with double-sided paper. The nice part about these is that you can make these any size, both square and rectangular. What you need to do is take your finished outside measurement and add an, each, add an inch to each side. In this case, the outside measurement is four by four and you need to add an inch to each side, so you would need to start with a six by six piece of paper. Keep in mind also that this inside opening is going to be a bit smaller than the folded edge, so this is actually going to be an inch less. So the inside opening of this project here is actually going to be three by three. So take your piece of paper, put it on your scoreboard, and then score one half inch, and one inch on each of the sides. The score lines will form four small squares in the corner. You need to cut those away and as you're doing this, be quite precise of getting right up into the corner and cutting those away. That just helps with the precision of the miter when you're finished. Next, fold on all of the score lines. Then fold each corner on a 45 degree angle. And to do that, take the edge of the paper and line that up right along the score line so that the edge of the paper is right on the score line. And then do that on all of the corners. Then fold over on those previously folded score lines and when you do, that will create the miter. Now 
Now at this point then you can either um, adhere this down, you can slip something underneath it. Um, one thing that I didn't mention before, you could even slip a piece of acetate in here, put something behind it so it could be a shaker element. So these can be either adhered down, put some little um, raised dots underneath, or the other idea, and what I did on this one, this was a little bit stiffer paper, it just kind of naturally folded back when you just let it go. So um, particularly if you have a stiffer type of paper, that will form the edges and that will just stay in that position. So that's the version where you do not adhere the edges down. To create the triangular border, you need to add an extra half inch to each side. So for this finished size, which is a four by five inches, this needs a piece of paper which is actually seven by eight inches. And then this will be scored at one half, one inch, and one and a half inch on all of the sides. When you do that, there are going to be nine squares in the corner. And again, just like before, those need to be cut away. And the rest of the assembly is very similar. Then again, take the edge of the paper, line that up along the score line, creating a 45 degree angle. Once these are folded, flip this over and apply adhesive to the outer edge. Then fold over once. Third time, peel off the adhesive. And then this will line up right along the score line. Fold that over and down. And that creates the edge. Thank you for the opportunity to share my ideas and projects with you and I look forward to seeing your creations.